Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. I have a podcast to prove it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, last night I recorded my first podcast, my first episode on my podcast. And like saying that you have a podcast sounds like, you know, back in the day, like, I don't know, 15 years ago or so, people used to be like, I have a blog. You know, I have a blog. I'm blogging. I'm a blogger. (laughs) What do you call people who have podcasts? Podcast purse? Podcast purse? I don't know. I have no idea what you call someone with a podcast. Mm -hmm. So anyways, guys. Oh my God, this is a good scone. Mm. It's delicious. I want to remind you out there, check it out. No matter what, baby, keep going. Keep going, keep going. What you really what you're really fighting is this. This is what you're really fighting. It's the only thing you're fighting. You're not fighting. You're not fighting the difficulty of the art market or, or the or the arts. You're fighting this, baby. Yeah, baby. That's what you're fighting, baby. And you got to realize what the fight is about. In order to tackle it right, you got to realize where the fight is. And, uh, and don't be hard on yourself, baby. <laughs> baby. Don't be hard on yourself. Um, we tend to be hard on ourselves. I know I'm, I'm, I'm pretty hard on myself sometimes. And, and like my wife has to snap me out of it, you know. Being hard on yourself doesn't mean that you shouldn't be disciplined. What it means is that you shouldn't be complaining about it. Like if you... You know, if you overslept or if you stayed up late and, you know, or um, if you didn't finish something you said you were going to finish, acknowledge it, acknowledge it, but don't, don't, don't beat yourself up for it, you know, there's no point in it, there's no point in beating yourself up for it, it doesn't, it doesn't create, uh, this old man's like crossing the the street, and I think that like, he's not looking at me. So I think that uh, he's thinking, if I don't look at him, everything's. It's like he's not even there. <laughs> if I don't look at him, it's like he's not even there. So yeah, guys, uh, I've been excited. Uh, created my first episode, Spotify podcast. I'm telling you guys, it's like it's like a. It's like when um, it's like when people used to say, "I have a blog. I'm a blogger. Mm-hmm. I blog." Type away, type away, type away. I blog. I, I, I feel like that's that's what uh, that's what pod, uh, that's what podcasts are. I was gonna call it spot, spot, a cat, spot a cast. That's what podcasts are. But like a new thing, you could be like, you're, you're, you're in a conversation, you're like, oh my god, what are you doing? I don't know, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. What are you doing right now? Well, you know, uh, I'm editing my podcast. Uh, editing podcast. You know, edit away, edit away, edit away. <laughs> and it just, it just sounds super cool. You know, it's like when artists are, are, are asked, what, what, what are they doing on the weekend? They're like, I'm going to go to an art show. You are? Yeah, I'm going to go to an art show. I'm it's a one person show you know it's about me like oh okay cool yeah I like that you know I like that whole deal makes me makes me sound fancy hey Jose what are you doing tonight I'm just working on my podcast jeez man that's what I'm doing (laughs) yeah baby so again going back to (laughs) going back to what I was talking about earlier um don't be hard on yourselves, guys. Don't be hard. Don't be hard on Mundo. Everybody's being hard on you. 
this does not mean not to acknowledge, right? Acknowledge, like, like, hey, you know what? I should have done that yesterday. Instead, I'm like procrastinating with it, but it's okay. I'm gonna get to it, and, and just, just don't be, don't beat yourself up for it because uh, that is not the solution. I'm not trying to be zen here or anything. That's just, it's just not the solution. That's not how it works. I got hiccups, man. That's not how it works. It just doesn't because it, 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 it perpetuates uh, the situation because it brings upon shame. Or is it fear? Yeah. It brings upon shame, baby. And so it perpetuates the situation. And it makes you feel like, look, if you feel shame about something, if you're working and you're like, oh, man, you know, I missed this or, or I I know I should have done that, but I didn't do it. I should have gone visit the gallery and asked for an exhibit, but I didn't do it. And now, blah, blah. Uh, and you start feeling shame about around it. Even if you're just joking or you're just like, you know, like not trying to be so serious about it. You're like, yeah, well, you know, I'm trying to quit, but I, I can't, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, it brings upon shame. And so don't beat yourself up for it. Acknowledge it. Say, you know what? I've been I've been trying to to do this thing for a while and, and it seems like it's uh uh it feels a little hard. It feels you know, it just does. Maybe my habit, you know, or whatever, it just feels a little difficult. It's alright. No shame. Acknowledge it and keep moving, baby. Keep moving. Because the, the the shame will ground you on uh, not in a good way. It, it will keep you in that loop. Uh, it's like Groundhog Day. Groundhog. That's why I thought about Groundhog. It's like Groundhog Day. You know, the shame. The shame keeps you in that in that space. You can't get out of it, and you wish, but it's a loop. It's a loop, baby. It's like Happy Death Day. You guys seen that movie? That's a good movie. That chick is a good actor. Happy Death Day. All right, guys. We're gonna stop the playing around now. It's time to work on something. Let me start waving at some people. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, wait, wave at you and wave at you. Man, I got some. Uh... Big old locks. It's like Area 51 here. Like all kinds of locks. Like, lock after lock. Secure system. Beep, 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 beep. Activated. <laughs> What's up? What's up, good boy? There's my pups. Say hi to my say hi to my pups. What's up, pups? So uh, let's talk a little bit about, before I get started with my other work, let's talk a little bit about getting in the right frame. Oh, my hat. The wonder why I didn't have a hat on. What the hell's going on with me? Uh, get in the right frame, mind frame, to do things, to get things done. Uh, The right mind frame to get things done, guys. I believe. I believe it's when you when you move fast, okay? But you're patient. It's uh it's it's something that I've been I've been practicing. The right frame of, of getting things done, you know, if you want to get stuff done, whatever it is, create your paintings, uh, exhibit. On and on and on. It's you got to move fast in the micro. In the short term, right? The micro. Like, the tasks. Those fuckers, like, you need to, like, bounce through them. It'll give you energy also. It'll also give you energy, which is the most important thing. Because when you finish, when you accomplish a task, you get energy for the next one. Through the first one. It's the weirdest shit. I'm, I'm telling you guys, that's the whole law of uh, momentum. Uh, an object in motion remains in motion. It's because because the motion keeps pushing it. So that the first thing that you did, first of all, is is is, is anyone 
is anyone uh, going through anything like that right now? Where you're like, man, I need to, I need to get some stuff done. But I find myself overthinking about it. And I find myself about kind of procrastinating about it. And not really able to move fast enough. Because if you're going through that, baby, you're not alone. The entire world goes through that one. And so... So this is what I've learned. You move fast in the micro, right? In the short term, you got to move very fast. Like you're in... Like there's rocket fuel on you. And in the macro... And, and moving fast means means many things. It means you personally moving fast, or 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 going fast to influence other people to help you do things or to do things for you. Come on, good boy. Or hiring people too, right? Like whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. It's it's just moving fast, taking fast decisions, making fast decisions, uh, and be the bull in the china shop. You know, break break some shit. It's okay. You're supposed to. You're supposed to break some shit. Um, so you move fast in the micro. And in the macro, you are patient. It doesn't mean you move slow. You are patient in the macro. Meaning you move fast right here, right now. And you realize that this shit's not going to crack right now. Just because you're moving fast. Okay? It, it doesn't mean you're... It doesn't mean it's going to crack right now because you're moving fast. So, for example, if you are looking to put your work, your artwork, in a gallery or an online shop, or one of the nine online shops that I recommend, if you're looking to do that in, in, my, in my article, my latest LinkedIn article, oh my god, I write, I write articles, yeah. But my writing skills are like shit, right? I'm like, beep, beep, boop, 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 broken sentences, misspelled words, and... Publish, baby. <laughs> I'm like, publish, baby. <laughs> I have some, I have a couple of academic friends who are like, who are, their writing skills are pristine. <laughs> they're, they're Shakespearean. And, uh, and they've read my articles and they're like, really? Seriously, dude? Like, and they smile, right? Like, they laugh. I know they're laughing because they're like, seriously? And I'm like, shh. Just get it done, baby. But it takes them a long time. Some of them, no. Some of them are, are, are quite prolific. But most people, they take a long time. You know? Man, this cone is good. Mm. 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 <laughs> it takes them a long time and they don't realize the shit they're doing to themselves. And also the, the thing that they're doing to other people by withholding information from them. Like if I know something, whatever that is, if I know something, I want to push it out into the world, you know? Because many times it's not necessarily what you do and, and teach others what you do. It's about how you do it, how you approach it, you know, how you approach that. And that, that always helps humanity because we're having, a, we're, everybody's having a unique experience. And although it's, it's very, uh, it's very parallel, right? But everyone's having a, a slightly unique experience. You know, uh, a million fathers could be saying that the way they approach, you know, teaching their, their children, uh, you know, I don't know, giving their children good education or whatever, um, they can approach it differently, slightly different, right? Some of them through song. I know my mother used to do it through song. So she, she used to sing to me life lessons, life lessons. She just like, just start singing early in the morning and right before I went to bed, she used to sing like, like, you know, don't be a butt. No, no, not like that, but <laughs> don't be a butt to others be awesome and stuff she used to sing to me so that you know that's an approach imagine i, I think about it if like like my mom was in the time of um uh in the time of chimpanzees there was a monkey no in the time of like podcast and you know all this other stuff right that would be so cool you know imagine that <laughs> like like you know my good old mother would have been like 
podcast. No, uh, podcast. Or uh, blogging, you know, blogging. I think it's so cool, you know, the shit that we can claim today. Because uh, people are like, what are you going to do later, you know? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to edit my podcast. Uh, I'm going to put some soft music in the background, you know? Trigger, trigger. <laughs> it's so cool, you know, the shit you can say today. Uh, not long ago, it was... What are you going to do today? And it's like, you know, just, um, I'm going to edit my, I'm going to proofread my blog, you know, click, 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 type away. And, and, you know, people, people, people get to claim some cool stuff and we get to do some really cool stuff, stuff we couldn't do, man. This fucking phone is, it's like magic. It just is. Cause you know, like think about it. It's like, it functions with crystals and whatnot. A hippie friend told me about that. <laughs> Very hippie friend. <laughs> told me that the phone basically functions with crystals. So, I believe her, you know. Fucking uh, rocket scientist and shit. So, um, mm, mm -hmm. I think it's the frosting. It's the frosting that attracts me. What's up, Stevonix? Did I wave to everybody? I haven't waved to everybody. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, guys, I mean, ultimately what, what matters is, I, I think, right? For me, this is, these are not the tablets of life. I did not write this in uh, carved it on stone. But for me, uh, what's up? What I what I found out is that is that you want to move fast in the micro, like move light speed, like boom, baby, just burn it, just burn it, get it, get it burning. Um, I think who said that was was it Kirk Cobain? Man, this shit's gonna date me. Was it Kirk Cobain who said it's better to to burn out than to fade away? In the micro, it is, guys. In the micro, it is. Okay. Uh, Stop eating! You're making me hungry. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. This this new uh, this new Starbucks cone. I don't think it's new, but it's but it is seasonal. It's like a pumpkin pumpkin scone. It's good. So I was debating between you know I'm like I'm trying to get in shape and shit in my mind, right? <laughs> and I was like I was like I was like should I get burrito? Or should I get oatmeal? And I was like, burrito, oatmeal, burrito, oatmeal. I was like, fuck that. I'm going to get a scone. And so I got a scone. <laughs> I failed again today. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah. it's it, In the micro, guys, it's better It's better to, to burn out than to fade away. Good old Kirk Cobain. Yeah. Uh, it's just so much better, guys. Because... Because and people fear people fear burnout, but you're not burning out. What because burnout happens when you are are thinking too much. So you're unsatisfied with the results. You're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking. Or here's where burnout happens. And man, have I experienced this shit? Okay, it's not really burnout, but people think it's burnout. What really happens? I don't believe in burnout personally. I think burnout is a it's a myth. Uh, but what happens is that. You'll pigeonhole yourself into something. Like, let's say you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to figure Instagram out. And so, you're like, you stop painting or you paint less. You stop doing other stuff because you get tunnel vision and focus and pigeonholed into Instagram. And all of a sudden, you're like five, five hours on Instagram. This happens to kids, right? And it happens to adults. Like, think about it. The first time the kid gets the, the what do they play now? Oh, Xbox. Yeah, that's what they're playing with. Man, I'm from, like, Atari. Mm -mm. No, joystick Atari. Uh, yeah, dude, I played Atari. Um, yeah, the, the the first time they get that Xbox or whatever the game, they're like, yeah, and they spend like they they won't go to sleep, right? They're like eight hours, they're like they're like eight hours, and uh, playing uh, GTA. Yeah, that's what my son plays. Playing GTA, oh my, you know, and and. Uh, so what happens is that they pigeonhole, right? And so they stop doing other things and they, they get extremely frustrated because now all of their resolve is about that thing. And so this happens to us too. We're like, I'm going to figure Instagram out. And then we're like, uh, old day on Instagram. And it's like, fuck this, Instagram doesn't work. 
you know, or it just takes so long because in our minds and our, uh, I think it's our reptilian brains, <laughs> our reptilian, Illuminati reptilian brains uh, that we think, we think, uh, no, let's, 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 let's be, uh, let's be professional now. <laughs> I, I think what happens is that we're thinking if, if we work on this hard enough, it's going to give us fruit right away. And it doesn't. It doesn't give fruit right away. It gives fruit like in the long term, you know, two months later, maybe if the short, short stuff, probably about two weeks later, but almost nothing gives you return right away. It's very rare. And so some form of return, right? And so, so we get, we get, we get desperate, right? And we're like, ah, this, this doesn't work. And so what I've been learning is, Go hard on the micro, the stuff that you need to get done, but always think macro, always think long term. Think in the long term. That's that's how I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, what do I want? Okay, this is what I want. I want to be a badass, right? I want I want this and I want to be able to influence people and I want to be able to, you know, share my stuff with the entire world and on and on. Like, you know, like the macro, right? The awesome, like the big tail, right? My Odyssey. And and so I know that that's not going to happen right now, but there's little steps right now that I can take. Those little steps, like I want to fucking like ignite them. I want to throw fuel and light a match. You know, just get it done fast. Whatever it is, you know, a podcast. It took me like, fuck, man, it took me over a year, right? That's a bad example because it took me over a year. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do a podcast. And I just sat on it and I sat on it and I sat. I went and I bought, I bought all the stuff, guys. All the stuff for the podcast. I went and I bought microphones. And uh, a friend of mine, well, Esteban Nix, uh, talked talk to me about a I think a microphone that was called a Yeti. I went and I bought it and then I returned it because because I went and bought some other stuff. And then I was like, I'm gonna buy I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this because I'm gonna record um what do they call these things? Um, um audio audiobooks. You know, I'm going to record audiobooks and whatnot. So I was trying to make it all cool and pro and whatnot, you know, with uh, with with stands and, and all that good stuff, man. And so I just kind of, you know, it took forever. And then last night I was like, fuck this. I'm tired of, you know, I, it's like that movie. What was that movie? Was it The Sound Lot or which one was it? I think it was The Sound Lot. And the little kid's like, I can't take it anymore. And he goes and kisses the, the lifeguard girl. Something like that. You know, last night I was like, I can't take it anymore. And so what I did is I, I just, I downloaded Anchor, you know. And I was like, how do you do this thing? So I figured out right away. I was like, okay, this is a no-brainer, even for this cool cat. So I was like, peep, peep, boop, boop, boop. Podcast, baby. I was like, whoa. That was quick. That was very quick. So, so the micro fast, right? The long term, it's going to take time and it's okay. Let it cook, baby. Let it cook. Uh, a good example of that is my my YouTube videos. Those of you who watch my YouTube videos, it's a good example of that. How's it going, Phillies? Um, my YouTube videos work like that. Like when I'm ready to do a YouTube video, I'm like, hey, what's up? Blah, blah, blah. Fuck it. Send. Boom. Publish, baby. Right? And it's like super fast. No editing, no music, no no effects none of that you know it's just record it set it and forget it baby and then i just upload it and it sits there those fucking videos man like i get no views like it's like i don't know like 300 views a week or something but but here's the here's the magic of it right because i'm thinking macro right i'm thinking long term i went and i looked at my first videos that i recorded about two years ago and the average video has over 2,000 views. And now some of them I hit them out of the park. Some of them I had like, I don't know, like 100,000 views. Uh, for me, right, hit them out of the park. Uh, some of them had like 50,000, 70,000, 100,000 views. Uh, some of them just have a couple thousand views. But I throw about, uh, about three videos a day. I'm, I'm pretty fucking committed with those things. And so I, I, I throw about three videos a day, every single day. I'm like, mm, 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 video, buy, publish, publish, baby. You know, and, and so in the micro, I make the video right away. I, I finish it. I'm not trying to edit it and make it look, it's not me, guys. It, it, it wouldn't be me. 
I'm a I'm a loose type of guy. You know, it wouldn't be me. It, I, I'd be I'd be lying to myself. You know, if I'm gonna I don't know edit a video and make it sound super cool. Like I was I was so happy that when I was doing the podcast last night. How's it going? How's it going? Zore Fiorozzi. Yeah, cool name. Zore Fiorozzi. Uh, what I was, what I realized last night is that the podcast is super simple. I mean, and you guys got all, all kind of great stuff to, 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 to talk about, you know? Stay to, true to yourself. Yeah, that's right. Uh, everybody does, you know? Some of you are moms. Some of you are dads. Some of you are uh, neither, right? Some of you are no moms, no dads. You're just a parent, right? And just like some of you are just moms, some of you are just dads. And so, yeah, we're going to keep it non-binary here. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter, right? Like, it's so simple. Everybody has a story. Everybody has a story. You know, everyone has got that, that, uh, that little edge, right? You have that little, that little edge. Maybe you are into sports and you're an artist. And you know a shitload about sports? Man, I talk about sports. I know some people are like, oh, no, you can't mix them. Then I would talk about sports. I'd make a fucking podcast on sports. Maybe you have a lot of knowledge on, on art history and you're, you suck at painting, right? Maybe you do. You know, it's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you can't build an audience around it. And then those people are going to start buying your sucky paintings, right? They just do because they're around what you're doing. They love what you're doing. Or, or they'll push. Maybe they won't buy it. They'll push it out into the marketplace. And then other people will buy your sucky paintings, you know? So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you're true to yourself and you create content and you share it with the world. And you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. Um, yeah, you don't. You don't. The, the times of waiting are done. Oh, don't leave out the granddads. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe you're a granddaddy, you know, grandmom. I don't know. <laughs> grandmom here, nice. I love that. So, so you got a lot to talk about. You just do. I mean, especially if you, you know, you're your your grandparent. Um, you've been through some stuff. You know, you have. You know, you have some uh, life stories. You know, you have a. Uh, um, what do we call this? History, right? With the world. You know stuff. You know stuff that I don't. You can call me Cat. Nice. Uh, okay, well, Cat, look, as a grandma, you know things that the average person doesn't know. And not only that, you have a unique story, right? You have a unique, everybody has a unique story. Man, I grew up in the, you know, I grew up in the, in the, I don't know. I grew up in the field somewhere. You know, I was my mom was a farmer, that kind of thing. You know, um, or my, my you know my daddy was a rancher and this and that. And you know shitload about horses. You know, you just do. Right? Let's say I don't know. Um, man, the podcast should be around there, right? Should be around that. And you're an artist, so you would talk about that, right? You would use that as a springboard. To then squeeze in your artwork. The, 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 I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be very honest. The shit you do. Okay. The painting. The drawing. It's not. It's not. The attention grabber. Like 99% of the time. The the shit you do. Is not what. Why people follow you. Like. Uh, I was I was under the impression that people were starting to follow me because of my beautiful artwork. But they weren't. They were following me because I knew stuff that they didn't, like how to mix oils with, you know, walnut oil with paint or my long ass rants. Right? People were like, I want to listen to this guy rant about, you know, because he, he goes forever, dude. Like he doesn't care. He'll rant for a whole hour. And so people listen to that shit, you know, and they want to, you know, they want to hear that. And some people are like, dude, this guy... This guy sucks at painting. They've told me, right? And I know I have some pretty bad paintings. This guy sucks at painting. But, man, his marketing is on point. I want to learn his marketing. So they're there, right? They're listening. And people that I know that think that my work is not that great, they end up buying something from me. Not always, but sometimes. 
and and they're not doing it out of pity or anything. They, they're doing it because they like me, right? They're like, dude, I like this cat. Yeah, I'm going to buy something from this guy. Just cause, just for kicks and giggles, you know? I want support. And so, <laughs> thank you so much, cat. Uh, Philly says, I'm a mom and recently first-time grandma. Oh, I love that. New experiences, right? New experiences. Let me open the door for my... For my assistants, my art assistants. So, so that's, I mean, build it around whatever it is, right? Whether it's a podcast or it's a YouTube video or you're blogging, you're writing. There's no wrong way of doing it, by the way. Whatever you're doing, whether you're going to type it, click, click, click away, or you are going to draw it. Right, because remember, it's not necessarily the artwork. It might be something cool that you know that most people don't know. Like a lot of people know how to how to mix inks, right? Or you know a lot about brushes. You know a lot about canvases. Maybe you you, you just know, right? Something. There's something that you just know about knitting, right? Make the podcast, make the video, talk about articles, write articles on knitting and how that helps you. Uh, uh, the stress, right, from painting and marketing and all that other stuff. And when you go back to your knitting and why it's so important and who taught you how to knit, your grandma taught you how to knit, okay, well, you know, talk about that, you know, so you're knitting away and, and weaving that beautiful sweater. <laughs> beautiful sweater, baby. It doesn't matter what you talk about. The most important thing is to talk about, here's why, guys, okay? It doesn't make sense. It's counterintuitive. Good morning. It's going to be counter counterintuitive. Good morning. And, uh, the reason why it's counterintuitive is because we think that, well, I got to talk about the thing that I'm selling. But uh, no, you don't. And I'm going to tell you why. One of the greatest marketers out there, his name is Gary Vee. Uh, he talks about something very interesting, which I talked to you guys about me selling tamales when I when I first arrived in uh, to this country. Right. Uh, immigrant hustle, baby. Uh, my mom used to used to cook tamales. Right. And then she would go and have me hand out one tamale to everybody in the neighborhood right in a little ziploc bag i was like walking around like knocking the door i had my little bag and i was like my mom told me to give you this right and the people were like oh thank you oh what a nice neighbor blah blah and then like two hours later i would come back and dinner time right knock on the door and and now it was time to pitch baby right it was like oh by the way my mom you know asked me but i was a little kid right <laughs> she didn't spoke English so and I was like learning learning to speak English and and I was like uh half a dozen or a dozen baby you know and and so people were like oh this is so awesome the same person like like not everybody but a lot of them bought right a lot of them and and the reason why it's because I gave them something first right I gave them something and so it, it's not the best example but it's a good one so what Gary Vaynerchuk said, look, if you want to sell the cow, give the milk away, right? If you want to sell the cow. So you're not, you're not necessarily talking about the cow. You don't say, well, look at the cow. The cow has a lot of muscle, right? Uh, look at the, you know, the, the cow is, you know, very, you know, it's, 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 I don't know, it's fat enough. It's heavy enough, right? It's, it's a beautiful animal. Oh, yeah, buy my cow. Um. No, you talk about the milk, right? You're like, hey, the cow produces milk. Let's give the milk away. And let's talk about the milk. While we're giving it away, right? You know, what's the great thing about milk? And on and on. And, you know, you talk about something else, right? You talk about something else. You talk about another thing. Um, and, and you bring people to the free. To the free. Because your story is the free. You're, you, you're giving yourself you know, your story is the, is the free. You're giving yourself. And so once you have enough people there listening to you, then, then you can, you, they, you don't even have to talk about it. They'll see the cow and someone's going to be like drinking milk. And they're going to be like, well, thanks for the free milk. Um, is that a cow for sale? You know, and that's how you sell it. That's how you sell it. You don't even have to pitch it. If you have enough fire there, if you have enough people, you don't even have, you don't even have, to, you don't even have to pitch it, baby. It'll sell by itself. It just... You know, you don't even have to put a price tag on it. Someone's going to ask you. I mean, you should, right? It, it's it's a little smart to put a price tag and put it in the background somewhere. Put the cow in the background. Look, this is my cow, guys. My artwork. 
Not that, not that trash bag. My artwork is my cow, right? Do I want to sell my artwork? Of course I do, guys. Of course. But I can't, I can't go out there and start telling everyone, buy my art, buy my art, buy my art, buy my art. Because uh, it doesn't work that way. It just doesn't. I need to give on myself. And I need to help other people. And, and some of the people, because, because the, the, the main problem that everybody has is that they don't have enough eyeballs. Right? They don't have enough views. Almost nobody has enough views. Nobody has enough momentum to sell something. It takes a lot of energy to sell something. It takes a lot of people watching you. People say, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go make a Facebook ad," and you know, I don't know. They they make a five dollar Facebook ad, and I don't know, two hundred people see it, see your ad, right? And they think, "Well, two hundred people saw it. I'm sure some one of them wants to buy it." And it doesn't work like that. You need two hundred people to see it. Feel it, touch it, you know, sleep over it, think about it, wake up, and then uh, come back to it again and see it again, and touch it, feel it, go back to sleep, wake up, and look at it again. You get the point? Like, you need a lot of follow-up, a lot of momentum for someone to squeeze out and be like, fuck it, I'll buy it. You know? <laughs> you need a lot of that. And so, this is where we're confused. We think that that if we just post some things, people are just going to... Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Karen. <laughs> if people think that um, you're just going to buy it, or you're just going to sell it, just because you know it's it's so cool, you're just going to sell it right away, and it doesn't work like that, guys. Um, you do sell stuff sometimes by just pure luck. I talk about that a lot. Sometimes you get really lucky and you sell stuff, and that's great. But most of the time, most of the time, the reason people buy from you is because they go and they and they and they go for the free. They go for the free. Or for what looks many times it doesn't have to be free. What looks like service. Right? What looks like service. They go for the service. And so it, it, the best way to sell something I found out is to cheat no one. Is to give. Give, 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 give. And then when you're tired of giving, you're like, roll up your sleeves and give, 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 give some more. And then that's when the magic starts happening. You give of yourself. What's giving of yourself? You write an article every single day. There's a lot of you who can do that. Write an article. It doesn't have to be like a long-winded, you know, perfect. No, it could be just like a couple of sentences, man. Like two paragraphs. Boom. You know, two paragraphs. Two paragraph article. This is what I learned from this crazy cat named Jose Trujillo. There's an article. Or this is my favorite museum, you know. And here's why. Whatever. You know? Why I like Starbucks so much. Mm. Why is it that I like Starbucks so much? Whatever, right? Or why I think Starbucks, even though I like it, I think it's not good. Whatever. It doesn't matter, right? What does that have to do with art? Dude, people that buy art buy Starbucks. They drink Starbucks. What are you talking about? You know, it's all... It's all it all goes together, guys. It's the same thing. It, but this is what we think. Okay, this is what we think. No, art collectors. I have to reach art collectors. Mm -hmm. Only art collectors. I wonder where they're at. What they're thinking. Dude, art collectors buy pumpkin scones and Starbucks. And they like to, they like to hear stories about grand, grandparents talk about their grandchildren. And how they're raising them. And how they're giving them, you know, extra love, right? Because my mother used to say something funny. She used to say... Uh, you don't become a, you don't realize, right? You don't become a parent. No, you, you don't truly become a son, right? Uh, she used to tell me this, until you become a dad. And you can't become a dad, really, until you become a granddad. Oh, man, a little tear to my eye. It's, it's so insightful, right? Because you're busy, and then you're not. And then when you're not, when you're not busy, 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 chasing life, then you start realizing, you're like, wait a minute. You know, let me give some some special attention here to my grandchild, right? There's an extra love. I've I've seen it. I've seen it. I know. I know. There's an extra love. It's it's a different. Well, not that I know, right? But I've seen it. It's a different um, level of love for the grandchild. And and so and so talk about that. 
talk about that experience. Talk about the experience of of being a grandma that you found yourself, you know, going after your journey as an artist after working for for the man, you know, stick it to the man, and uh, and now now you have some time and you you know you're also taking care of on the weekends or whatever you know taking care of the of the grandchild and uh and i don't know like all your life right your life all that dynamic mike hart says so true all that dynamic and and people say well why would people want to read about that and then go buy my art because people are buying you guys people are buying you people are not buying your art nobody buys your art if they buy your art uh it's for decorative uh, reasons only, and they could buy it from anyone. Right? They can, if they're gonna buy your art or my art, they're gonna come buy my art. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there, and and not because my art is better. I'm just telling you guys, like if they're gonna choose, they're gonna be like, well, whoever's there more, right? Who's ever art I see the most. So don't let me beat you to it. Don't let someone else beat you to it. Win people over with your story. Get people, get people, attract people with your life, with your story. Because people don't buy from people they like. People buy from people they know. And if you're the person they know, you know, then then you're you're the person they're buying from. People buy from people they know. There's a, this this huge misconception of, of people think that people buy from people they like. When I'm ready to repair, a, a, I don't know, a leaky faucet or something, I'm not thinking, who do I like? You know, <laughs> who do I like? No, I'm thinking about who do I know? Dude? Who could do this? Who could do this and not screw me over, right? Who could do this? And uh, and that's what we're thinking. Who do I know that I can trust? Okay, now who do I like? Who do I know that I can trust? I like a lot of people, but they can't do that job. It's who do I know that I can trust? And then that's who I go to. And if you're the person who's constantly delivering value content, like like this you're talking to people you're 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 basically this is a window guys like it's so weird man it's so weird we don't think about it like this but this is a window it's like we live in this village that is interconnected and all we got to do is open the little window and be like what's up hello world you know and everybody's like hey what's up what's up what's up they open the little windows and we're all like connecting that's 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 what social media especially stuff like this like instagram live or you know any any of the live features in the apps um, so you get to open the window and start singing, you know, like one of those Disney cartoons and the little birds are going to start coming in and, you know, you can do that right away, right? You can do that right away and start telling your story, you know, you can go la 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 la. Let's see here. Karen says, absolutely. I have a four year old granddaughter who's my delight. By the way, your mom had a lot of wisdom and she passed, uh, she passed it on to you. How awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, she was She's one of those one of those very, very rare souls. Her dad was was a uh, was a very very wise from what I from what I hear. He was a very wise guy. Wise guy. Uh, so there it is guys. All right. I made this video nice and long cuz I like my video. There you go. Uh, yeah, my video had paused for a second. So there you go. There, there you guys have it. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. Uh, and and I'm just trying to I'm just trying to give the milk away so that maybe one day I'll sell a cow, you know. But uh, but I also just want to give the milk away because I think it's a good thing, you know. Everybody can drink milk and we can all be happy, and there's nothing wrong with that. And if somebody buys the cow, well, that makes me happy too. But but it's not the only reason, right? There it is, guys. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. If any of you are interested in uh, talking to me about this in the DM, it happens in the DM. Send me a DM. Be like, awesome talk, Jose. Or where's your podcast? You know, I'll send you a link. And it'll be cool like that. All right. Peace.